will let pupils change gender aged four without their parents what? consent no that isn't going to happen no. um and uh, tell teachers not to question four. a child's request to choose a new name or use a different toilet this is all going to go horribly horribly wrong uh, marion calder is co-director of for women uh, marion good evening to you tell me what for women is Good evening. Thanks for having me on, James. Uh, we are a grassroots organisation that campaigns on uh, women's rights here in Scotland, and uh, we are very concerned as to what's actually happening here in Scotland at the moment with Scottish government's moves to uh, allow pretty much anyone to change their sex. I mean, let's call it what it is. It's not gender. Gender is a you know, nebulous concept that no one can really pin down. Mm. And uh, now we're talking about children before it was adults, and now we're seeing allowing. Yeah. Um, this idea that four-year-olds can change sex. Well, anybody can change sex, but whether you uh, at four years old are in a position to know your feelings is the, the question. I mean, what age do you think, Marion, it should be then? Is there, a, you know, is there a preferred age or not? Well, I think primarily this is an adult condition. Um, the reason why kind of the Gender Recognition Act was brought in the first place was to deal with kind of adults and same-sex marriage, for example, the equality of uh, pension rights. So this, is, so this is a massive kind of step away from what the original GRA was brought in to do. So what was predominantly to actually deal with adults who were suffering from gender What dysphoria, is the JRA? Gender Recognition Act 2004. Oh, right. okay. And so, yeah, so this is an update that Scottish Government is bringing in. And now they're widening up to anyone. So they're bringing it in for 16 years old and upwards. Hmm. So, yeah. What's his no four doubt. years? What's his four years old then? Well, the, the four years old, there's been a, a kind of move to self ID throughout the, the whole of Scottish Government and uh, hmm. education. So there's been a new document that's come out to all schools. Um, sanctioned by Scottish Government, albeit it's not statutory, schools don't have to use it, and if there's any head teacher watching this, please don't. And mm -hmm. it comes out with ideas that any, any child from 4 to 18, if they, if they approach a teacher and say, I think I am, mm -hmm. if they're a girl, you may say, I think I'm a boy, and the teacher would is to go along with that, and to, to, to the point of mm -hmm. even not speaking to the parents about mm -hmm. what's actually happening in school. Well, I think 16 is OK. I mean, I don't have a problem with 16. But they've passed but, uh, puberty uh, there because they often say, you know, you yeah. need to get the puberty blockers, don't they? I mean, I don't know about this, mm. but they, that's, you have to need to hit before yeah. puberty to stop things happening. Do you, do you think, um, Marion, you're a co-director of Four Women, does Four Women think that maybe some kind of psychological help would, would uh, stop quite a lot of people wanting to change sex? Do you think it's more of a... Do you think it's more of a, a psychological condition than anything else? Well, that's predominantly it. I mean, the, the term gender dysphoria kind of calls about the mix match from kind of uh, someone's identity about how they feel. Um, so predominantly, this is a mental health condition. Uh, to take the, this, the, the clinical support away and just allow kind of self-ID, I think is kind of moving completely away from what it was brought in. I mean, children should be getting support. Now we're seeing lobbying mm. groups saying that um, that these are the most marginalised, these children are at the most risk of suicide or depression or anxiety. So by not actually giving them the support and actually not taking the parents I mean, out of this is a bit of a concern. Well, I think any parent would feel that if you've tried telling me what my children can do from the age of four, you're going to get a bloody nose. Um, if not more, uh, what what do you think about people who feel that they are? I mean, uh, uh, do you know any uh, people who've trained changed sex? Do you have any uh, many. thoughts on what? Yeah, we have many. We've actually got many mm. women that actually within our organisation that had uh, transitioned and now have detransitioned. So none of this piece of legislation. Well, then you haven't. You've got you've got people. You've got your pe people in your organisation who did it and it didn't work out for them. It didn't work out. Have you not got any, they not have anybody where it did work out? Yeah. I do, actually. Yes, I do. Um, mm. I don't know many females to males that seems to work out. It seems to be the other way around. I know many kind of, I have many kind of uh, biological males, trans women, that are friends of mm. mine who have actually gone through the whole gamut and had had full surgery. Um, mm. But the, the difference is they did it when they were adults and they did it mm. after. Well, I have, look, I'm, yeah, I agree. 
I mean, one of my best friends um, was uh, was a guy. He transitioned, and now he is a very happy, very attractive young lady. But he would disagree and that it's felt... a mental disorder. He'd say, "I always no, he knew disagree with I, that. I always he knew said, I was a woman." Yeah. You know, that's what he would say. Yeah, and he would say also for this physical proof. You know, his brain is developed like a woman. He said, "As a woman, yeah." yeah. Yeah, so, you I've know, people are I don't obviously really like that term. I kind of are talking into pink brains and kind of blue brains there. Oh. Why no, don't you like it? Where did you... Hang, hang on, Ash. Hang on. Sorry, Marion. Where did you do your medical training? I can't really talk about where I work. <laughs> no, of course you can't. Um, so, you know, your your idea then that you don't think there are some people who are born uh, with a, 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 a brain that is opposite to the sexual body that they were born with. You don't, you don't hold that uh, as a very no, serious I mean, uh, If thought. we're going down to that kind of argument, we're also talking about do we have gendered hearts or gendered lungs or gendered livers? To me, this idea that kind of where this like, kind oh. of uh, where you're, where this aspect. So why would you in that case, why, hang on, why would you, yeah, why would you agree uh, in that case that uh, anybody should uh, trans uh, their gender, change their gender, because obviously, you know, you don't, it, it, I've met people who are absolutely convinced that they are women, absolutely convinced, who are completely psychologically fine. And they obviously, their, their, their mind, their brain, whatever you want to call it, there's not very much, I suppose, uh, you know, hearts are more or less the same shape, aren't they, really? What do you do with your mm, prostate? No, not actually, particularly. Kind of male's hearts uh-huh. are bigger. But, well, I Not think what we're getting kind of confused here is about the idea of where we can actually change sex or, or kind of uh, this gender identity or kind of personality. Well, if uh, somebody we if somebody else. wants to, yeah, if somebody wants to change gender, I think they need to be given as much help as possible. But I seriously, I seriously don't think anybody can make a decision like that until they're over the age of, say, sixteen. Mm-hmm. And once you're over the age of sixteen, I, I really, I mean, I left school at sixteen. I think uh, having to stay on at school until 18 now, gosh, I had children when I was 18, um, is, uh, is is pretty stupid. A lot of people are being held back, I would think, wouldn't you? But that's a different <sighs> well, argument. That, that's a, that's a mean, kind of a big, tough question there. But I mean, th- I think you're quite right in what you're saying. A four or five-year-old up to the kind of but into, we all went through puberty. We all understand the confusion of what it is around mm-hmm. that age. Kind of discovering your sexuality, discovering where you fit in the world, discovering where you fit in your peer group. It's a very challenging, different time where you're moving from kind of an adolescent into being an adult. So these are not times when we would say that you should make any l- really life-changing decisions. Yeah, but it, we wouldn't understand what it's like that. for a, for someone who's trans, wouldn't we? we we're all right. Mm-hmm. When we at puberty, we're like, oh, this is good. But if you are, are say, uh, born male, but you want to be female, it would be horrific to see yourself developing mm-hmm. more into a male. Because that's what I've but heard people say. Our- but then mm-hmm. we're going back to kind of uh, where we actually need support for these individuals to you know I mean and actually yeah. working it through why is this why do they do well they, if it's true will, what they say it's because they're 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 a different gender they mm-hmm. think and you know that's the thing mm-hmm. but then again we're Marian. back to kind of gender and sex mm. yeah we are and it'll it'll be something and a little discussion that will continue on for some considerable time it's just a shame that the Scottish government can't actually uh, apply themselves to the business of running what they call their country rather than worrying about things like this and whether or not they're going to become national again, which they're not, I can tell you now. Uh, Marion, thank you very much indeed. Marion Calder, who is co-director of For Women. We 